Okay, so the first thing is, this is what we're going to tie. You can call it a leech or a helgramide or dobson fly. It's a larva. And uh, the river has lots of them in, some of the trout streams too. And I would say it's probably more a bass fly than a trout fly, but you can fish fly fish for both. Okay, and uh, when I'm talking about the hook, we have the eye of the hook and then a straight section called the shank, and then the bend and the point and the bar. We're going to put our material on the shank of the hook. So when I say I want your thread at the bend, I'm talking about here where the bend starts. If I say I want your thread up at the eye, I want it up right behind the eye there. Okay, the tools we're going to use is a vise, thread with a bobbin. When you hold the bobbin, hold it between your thumb and forefinger like so, and with the spool at your palm of your hand. But don't do this or you'll break your thread. Let the, let the bobbin turn as you, as you pull off thread. You can always wind it back if you get too much. But don't wind it back so far that you have to re-thread your bobbin. Okay? Other tools that we might use, we're going to use today is a half-inch tool. It has holes in the end. That's to tie your finishing knots. You're also going to use a pair of scissors. Okay? So that's the main things we're going to use today. Other, other flies, you may use a hacker flyers, you may use a bodkin. Uh, I use a pair of pliers to pinch down the barb in my hook because if I catch myself, I don't want to have trouble getting the hook out, whether it's on my skin or my clothes. But I, and if you want your barb pinched down, do that after you finish your fly or, or whenever. So now, this is the hook we're going to use. I put that in my bobbin, or yeah, in my vise, and I put it in so that the point of the hook is inside the jaw. The reason I do that is so I don't catch my thread on the point and cut my thread. Okay? That's the last Fasten your thread onto the fly. Again, hold your bobbin between your thumb and forefinger. Take the working end of your thread, bring it up and over and back towards the hook and sort of semi-wrap it. Then I wrap over this loose end, okay? Wrap, 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 okay? Once that's tight, my bobbin will hang there, okay? I don't want this tag in anymore, so I trim that. Anytime you cut, cut on top of the hook so you don't cut your working thread. If you do, your bobbin's going to be on the floor. Okay? Now, I'm going to wrap my thread again back to near the bend of the hook. I'm going to let it hang there and I'm going to grab a piece of the material and I'm going to look at it and I'm going to see which way the fibers are laying. They're laying back this way towards my left hand. So I'm going to tie, tie that in. Okay, how long do you want the tail to be? I would say about as long as the shank of the hook. Okay, so now I know how long it's going to be. And I'm going to lay that on top of the hook and I'm going to hold it between my thumb and forefinger. I'm going to bring my thread up and while I'm holding my material, I'm going to put a wrap on that. And another wrap. And another wrap. And another wrap. Good and tight. Okay. Now I got it secured. So I'm going to put a couple, I'm going to put a number of wraps on there. 
because I want that tight. I don't want it to move. I want it to stay on top of the hook. So a number of wraps. Okay. Now, I have my material. I'm going to pull it back over the tail. And I'm going to wrap my thread up towards the eye of the hook. And I'm going to stop right behind the eye and let that hang there. My bobbin is not acting right. I need to tighten it up. These arms are adjustable. <coughs> <coughs> I didn't like the way my thread was pulling off too easy. Unfortunately, let's see if that helps. Yep. All right, I'm going to wrap, wrap that back on. If you get too much thread out. When you're tying, always tie the same direction. Okay, if you start wrapping one way, you wrap that way the whole way through the fly. And also, work close to your hook, because if you start getting out here, you see what's going to happen. You get slack, you, you, lose, you can't control where your thread is. So keep it close, you can guide it right where you want it with the end of the bob. Alright? Now, Threads behind the eye, I'm going to start wrapping this material onto the shank of the hook. Now I want to wrap it so that the side of the of the hide that doesn't have the fur on is against the hook. Okay? Because I want the, the fur to uh, stick out. A little tricky getting it started some time. Now I got it started. And so, as I wrap, I'm going to pull the fibers back towards the tail. And I'm going to wrap one wrap sort of over another. And half, cover about half of it with another wrap. Keep wrapping, keep pulling it back each turn. That way your uh, fur is going to lay back and as I get up to the eye, I'm going to stop there I'm going to hold it with my right hand. Okay, I'm going to reach in with my left hand and bring my thread up over both the material and the hook. I'm going to make a few wraps and that should secure that. I'm going to make a number of wraps so that it doesn't come loose. And then I'm going to trim this part off. Cutting on top again so that I don't cut my thread. And now I'm going to finish my head of my fly by pulling everything back and wrapping over it. A lot of wraps. A lot of wraps. But don't wrap out over the eye of the hook because you need to be able to fasten your hook onto the end of your leader. Lots of wraps. Make a head, to put a little shape to the head. Okay, then you finish your fly with a half hitch tool by making a knot. Left hand for the bobbin, pull it back towards you. A loop over the tool and slide that loop off the tool right onto the hook. Do that at least three times. Okay. I'm looking at that. That's about what I like. Okay. You don't have to use a tool. You can use your fingers to make those tough knots, which I usually do. And for your sake, I was doing. So now my fly is finished. I can trim off my thread, and it'll be your turn to tie one next. Okay. okay.